the Yakolev Yak-38 Forger was the only vertical takeoff and landing aircraft of the Soviet Navy. It was also the first operational, fixed-wing carrier-based strike fighter aircraft of the Navy. The first designs of the Yak-38 was of a supersonic aircraft resembling the British Hawker P-1154. To avoid development difficulties, the design was remade to a simpler aircraft, capable of speeds up to Mach 0.95. The designs were based on the Yak-36, but had little in common with the aircraft it was based on. The first prototype, the VM-01, was finished in April 1970. The Yak-38 was constructed in aluminium, and had a thin wing design. It had two extra engines, used to help lift the aircraft, mounted behind the cockpit. If these engines failed, the Yak-38 would theoretically be able to perform a regular carrier landing, using a brake parachute. The aircraft design also incorporated the automatic South 36 flight control system that would take over when the angle of the engine nozzles exceeded 67 degrees. The flight control system also had the ability to automatically fire the pilot's ejection seat if the orientation of the aircraft deviated too much in the horizontal plane. The pre-production version, still named the Yak-36M, was slightly lighter than the production model and had less powerful engines. The first production model, the Yak-38A, flew for the first time in January 1971. It entered service with Soviet naval aviation in August 1976. 143 Yak-38As were produced. This first production model suffered from a short range, low weapons load capability and low thrust. It also had trouble taking off in hot and humid climates. In June 1985, the Yak-38M entered service. It was an upgraded version with new Tumansky R-28 and Rybiansgar D-38 engines, and redesigned air intakes. The maximum takeoff weight was increased, enabling a larger weapons load. 50 Yak-38Ms were produced. The Yak-38U is a two-seat training version, with an enlarged fuselage to fit a two-seat cockpit. It entered service in November 1978, and a total of 38 aircraft were produced. The Yak-38 served almost exclusively on Kiev-class carriers, but tests operating the Yak-38 from civilian Roro vessels were also made. Four Yak-38 served in the war in Afghanistan, operating as regular strike aircraft. Because of the high altitude, they could not take off vertically and had to take off like normal aircraft. The Yak-38 was retired from service in 1991.